Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, we're going to be upgrading my Auto 2 Master Pro Laser with a new, more powerful 10 watt laser. Check out the video. Now this upgrade, the new laser, it actually is from Auto, so it is a original part, it's just more powerful. Um, I've got it from madethebest.com, um, so they've sent me some stuff a while back and one of the things was this, a laser cutting head. Now this is 10 watts, um, the original um, Auto 2 laser is about 4.5, 5 watts, so more or less, it's double the power. So in theory, you're gonna be able to engrave faster, you're gonna be able to cut faster, and you're gonna be able to cut deeper. Uh, we'll have a look at the cutting deeper bit, as I am quite curious. I think on the website it actually says it can cut 20 millimeters, which is absolutely insane. Um, but we'll we'll have a look at that, if that's actually true or not. So yes, obviously disclaimer, as I said, this laser has been sent to me for absolutely free, uh, but uh, you know, there's no script. I don't have to say anything good or bad about it. It's just my thoughts on it as we're gonna go. It's the company's, you know, risk sending me stuff like that. So we'll see if it's actually any good or not. Um, out of the bat, one thing I actually do like, um, with the original auto, you need that um, aluminium uh, bar that you need to put between the laser and the thing that you want to engrave or cut. In this laser head, you actually, it's built in, it's just right there. Uh, now, definitely that's a great upgrade. This module also has some air assist. You can connect your compressor uh, from the top and you know, you're gonna have some air assist as well. I'm not gonna do that. I don't have a compressor that would work with this. However, it's an option and this laser head has got that. So that's quite cool. Well, hey, let's install this laser and see, you know, how it performs. Right then, let's quickly have a look what actually you get in the package. A power brick, a laser shield, the laser head. Uh, we can just install that straight away, just like so. That's the air pipe. That's the adapter board that we need to install. Um, cable for that. And in here you've got uh, the air support things. You've got a mounting plate for the laser head, so we're gonna need that. Right, first of all, we need to disconnect the wires. Just like so. Take off these uh, side screws. There we go. And that's it. We've got one spare laser head. Okay, now uh, we need to replace this bracket with this one that came in the set. There we go. And now we can install the new bracket. And there you go. Okay, now we can slide in the laser head. And this time we only got one locking pin from this side. And there you go. And as I said, straight away at the front of the machine, that's the depth gauge. Absolutely fantastic, I really do like that. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to install this module. Okay, on this side, we've got the entrance for the power adapter. Okay, so what you want to do, the wire that came along with the laser, you install that in this port. Okay. Just like so. Then the wire itself, you connect to the laser. Just like that. And now the wire that was attached to our old laser head, just need to attach it just over here on this side. Just like that. And uh, we're gonna attach the ground as well. Okay, just like so. 
and that's more or less it okay so it's not too hard obviously don't forget about the power adapter without that um, it's not gonna work okay now the biggest problem is actually where to attach this now I do have to say it's an issue to actually um, where to place this okay especially when you do have the enclosure and management of the wires is becoming a bit of a nightmare here and to be fair i think the best position would be just over here on the drag chain itself that should be the best place for it at the moment um, however you know if you're going to come up with a better place especially when you've got an enclosure let me know but uh, that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to install it in here Okay, now it's time to install the power lead. In my case, as I said, I'm going to use this channel um, where the drag chain extends just over here. And there you go, the wire goes just underneath. There's a slot uh, between this and the base and it just fits perfectly. It's nice and loose, so it's not going to cause any issues. And you've got the uh, power brick at the back of the machine. So the very last thing to do is to plug in the power supply to the board there you go job done and as you can see it just works uh, absolutely perfectly wherever you're going to place it uh, the wires are not in the way they're not tangled anything like that and um, so that's fine and also the wires are not loose on the floor uh, on the base of the laser so there is no danger of the laser hitting the wires so for, yeah for me that's the best setup with the wiring um, obviously, you know, if you don't have the enclosure, it could be different for you. However, <laughs> it's now time to test this bad boy out and see if it's any good. Okay, so the engraving first, I've put the sheet of plywood inside. Uh, now we just need to make sure that the laser head is at correct distance from it. So we're just going to lower it down just like so. There we go. So that's in the correct position. I'm going to lock this up now and we're going to put the code and uh, see how it will perform. Right then, let's have a look how it all came out. Well, I have to say it actually turned out really good, but there's definitely way too much power as it did really engrave like quite deeply in the plywood itself so at this moment that's 3d for sure all the dark spaces here are at least a millimeter below the level and um, the surface of the plywood itself so uh, too much power uh, definitely there but how <laughs> tell you what it's actually quite cool how it turned out and the quality is absolutely fantastic let's do one more with a little bit less power we'll see how that will turn out now this was at 80 percent power let's give it another go okay so just finished the uh, second test now uh, in this case it was four and a half thousand uh, millimeters per minute 70 percent laser power and it took eight minutes and 30 seconds whereas the first one was three thousand uh, millimeters um, per minute 80% uh, of power and that took nearly 11 minutes and there you go it's definitely not as dark as before however you still got that heavy engraving in there but the quality the eyes and everything um, absolutely fantastic I have to say the quality is superb check this one again so that's the first one we did really really cool but uh, yeah, definitely there's still a place to mess around with the settings. Not sure if I'm going to be able to show you this under a slight angle. So you can see it went into the wood. Whereas in here, it's a lot deeper. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with the quality, how they are coming out. So let's carry on now to cutting things out. First of all, we're gonna cut a circle, just a really simple shape, uh, four millimeter plywood, and uh, we'll see how that's gonna turn out. So that's all set up. I'm gonna put the code in and off we go. 
Right, so this is 200 millimeters per minute, 100% uh, laser power. And let's have a look. Yeah, just pop right out. Single pass as well. Okay, as you can see, no burns outside, really nice clean cut. Okay, let's go for something a little bit thicker. Uh, six millimeter plywood in this case, two passes, 100 uh, millimeters per minute. And it's just a leaf, okay, so we're cutting it out. And uh, yeah, it managed to do the job. No issues at all. Uh, to be fair, I would actually say it's a little bit uh, too much. I probably would amend the settings just a little bit because uh, there is a lot of charring here. Ugh, there we go. Bit of a complex project here. So there you go, guys. Six millimeter plywood, two passes. And I definitely use too much power. Um, so you can definitely scale that down, you know, mess around with the settings to get the uh, correct um, outcome. However, it just proves how powerful this laser is. Six millimeter ply, two passes, and it's way too strong for this, okay? So I would say in a comfortable way, you can do up to eight millimeters without any issues at all with this laser. In this case, I've got 12 millimeter ply. We'll see how it will be able to cope with that. I'm thinking at least three passes on it and 100% uh, power, 100 uh, millimeters per minute. Let's have a look. Okay, let's check out the results. Well, unfortunately, it didn't manage to get through. Okay, let's increase the passes to six. Oh, almost there, look at that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> a little bit burned. <laughs> Tell you what. So this was actually set up in the end to 10 passes. Um, so yeah, it managed to go through, but <laughs> look at that, it's just burned like a crisp okay well from the top is actually not too bad at all um from the bottom is not so great um i don't think i'm gonna continue with cutting anything thicker than this as i think there's no point i'm actually surprised that it managed to do it at all so uh, that's quite cool as you've seen, it's fairly easy to install the module, although managing the cables and, you know, the board that you need to put somewhere on your laser could be a, quite fiddly. On top of it, what I don't actually like, it's I've got a power lead for the enclosure, for the ventilator. I've got a power lead for the main uh, auto board, the laser. And now I've got another power lead <laughs> for that um, board as well for the new laser attachment so in total I got three things I need to power up and you know that is getting a little bit messy I would think there is a bit of a better solution to all this so that's one of the things I definitely don't like however the new laser has got um, air support as well so that's something I could look into the future as well as that will definitely increase the speed and the quality of cuts um, in materials as well so that will improve the overall performance now when it comes to engraving absolutely fantastic I've got no issues with that um, as I said it's actually a lot quicker on paper anyway um, from the um, old, the original laser module that you get with your Aut2. It will cut through four millimeter plywood in one pass with no issues, with no burns um, on either of the side. Absolutely fantastic. If you need the laser to cut four millimeters, that's your choice. It will really do that job fantastically. Six millimeter plywood. Now I was expecting that, uh, you know, I had to increase the settings a lot more. Hence, uh, two passes, 100 millimeters per minute, 100% um, power, and that was actually too much to tackle six millimeter plywood. I would definitely 
um, scale dose settings down to cut this out. So it already proves to be a very, very powerful laser. And in the end, 12 millimeter birch ply, it actually managed to cut it. Not the best of qualities due to how many times it went around, but it did it. And you know, if you argue it, it's actually not that tragic, you know? So uh, yeah, I was quite surprised it managed to cut that through, to be absolutely honest with you. So I'm quite impressed with that. Now, would I recommend this laser to cut anything above eight millimeters? Probably not, okay? Cause then the time it takes to do the reps and the potential of heavy burn on your material is probably not the best. I would suggest between four and six millimeters, this laser will be absolutely perfect for you. But you have to consider the price tag as well, cause that is not a cheap laser. So um, I'll leave it up to you. It does have some um, really good points to it. However, it all really depends what you need from your machine. I'm gonna leave links to all of it so you can go and have a look, uh, read uh, the uh, technical sheets on it, what actually it has. So the laser itself, it's 10 watts, but it's actually two lasers, five watts each. So, uh, you know, in total, it gives you that power. It works. I don't think, I think on the website actually says it can cut through 20 millimeter um, material. <laughs> I, I don't think it would, maybe, but uh, the quality of the cut will definitely be something on the uh, not so great side. But hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop me that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, I'll see you on my next video. Take care.